Hi everyone, I am a volunteer gardener at the beautiful gardens of Chawton House, but today I'm going to welcome you to my allotment, Pat's Patch, up here in Four Marks. I've had my allotment now for about 10 years, and when I took this plot on, the site had just been vacated by Barrett Builders. Everywhere was just a mass of dockweeds, and it took some time and muscle power to clear. I grow a mixture of vegetables, flowers and fruit, which includes five fruit trees, apple, cherry, pear, greengage and plum. I also like to plant in a cottage style manner, but I ensure that I do not grow the same thing in the same place for two consecutive years. I will now give you a tour. We start off at bed one where this year I am growing sweet peas for cutting as I love the scent. Their colour will be purple on white. Also runner beans called White Lady, centurion onions, garlic and some purple gladioli for cutting. In this bed also is the cherry tree, which unfortunately the birds enjoy more than we do and it is a race as to who gets the cherries first. Also the greengage tree is here. This is a young tree and has yet to fruit. Behind this bed, in the corner against the fence, is a loganberry, given to me by a friend, which produces some wonderful fruit and has won prizes at the local flower, fruit and vegetable show. On bed two, I have a herb area, also second early potatoes, carrots and some perennial flowers which attract the bees and butterflies. For example, the perennial geranium called Anne Focard, which becomes a mass of deep pink flowers all summer. Really terrific. Behind this bed, against the fence, is a blackberry. This one produces a really nice large dessert fruit, wonderful for blackberry and apple crumble. Going down to bed three, we have chrysanthemums and dahlias for cutting, along with strawberries, two blackcurrant bushes and some really wonderful dessert gooseberry bushes which also make terrific jam. I've planted the squash this year in this bed, butternut and autumn crown which will weave their way around and through the strawberries. The bottom bed four on this side is the Bramley apple tree, the rhubarb which is very tasty called champagne along with a very vigorous red currant bush. Going over to the other side of the patch on bed five, there is at the bottom of the bed a row of rose bushes. These I planted to act as a windbreak as it gets very blowy up here at times. They are just random varieties but really pretty. I love roses and have several others spaced around on the patch. They all require a lot of feeding as roses are always very hungry. Also on this bed, it is the turn for the sweet corn, called Swift, and by its name it fruits early and therefore makes use of the maximum sunlight. It has proved very successful. The pumpkin is here, called Spitfire. This pumpkin produces small fruit, as the larger ones can become so big I am unable to lift them. Still to be planted when ready are cauliflower and broccoli. The last bed, six, contains the main strawberry plants and I am hoping for a good crop this year as it has been so sunny and warm to make some strawberry jam, a favourite with all my family. Also courgettes are planted here, small ones called griller, along with peas, parsnips and the Victoria plum tree. Where I have spare space I will be planting additional flowers some for cutting and some just for the insects. These will include cosmos, sweet williams, asters, penstemons and many others. Everyone is very friendly here and we swap seeds and seedlings and help each other when needed. It is a world away from everything else and a wonderful place to come and enjoy. Thank you for letting me share it with you.